got another great show for you next week. Keep sending in your letters. Till then, wherever you are, whatever you're doing... <laughs> Leslie Crowther will be asking his studio guests if the price is right after the break. Quietly, rushing out, meeting dew cool air. A daybreak flight of fancy leaves a memory engraved. When the fragrant blues of moonlight dancing turn to day, making room for silent lips that shout their love and sigh. Pastel, the fragrance that's part of you. The fat of the land is what the countryside has always been about, because until now, we couldn't give you a real buttery taste without all that fat. But now, there's a new spread that does it, called Delight. Delight is made with real buttermilk to give a real buttery taste, but it has only half the fat of butter or margarine. You can see what a delight it is to enjoy the taste of the country without the fat of the land. There are over 300 solid fuel appliances to choose from. If you'd like a more leisurely look, free phone real fires for our brochure. Look in at Debenham this Christmas. Just like a trio. Personally, I think... Mm. She's got a point, man. I mean, it's not a bad idea. Like There's I... no nicer way to eat real milk chocolate than on a... In the maze of toilet tissue, the soft option is to go for what you know. But real luxury is always worth pursuing. Now that Dixel have made a great leap with softest ever Dixel. For sheer luxury, for pure quality, Dixel excels. For strength, for length. Kitten Soft Dixel, the new soft option. The Braun Multipractic Hand Blender simply waltz through blending. Mmm, makes great soup. Simple to clean. Perfect mayonnaise. Fit the whisk. Pick the speed. Marvellous meringues. Simple to clean. Easy to store. The Braun Multipractic Hand Blenders. And now, here are today's football results in the RB Farker League. Braun Rangers 3, Fraserburgh 1, Cove Rangers 3, Port William 2. The match between Clasna Cudden and Devon Vale was postponed because the pitch was waterlogged. Elgin City 7, Nairn County 0. 
Huntley 1, Inverness Cali 5, Inverness Thistle 4, Rothes 1, Keith 0, Bucky Thistle 0, Lossiemouth 4, Peterhead 2, Ross County 0, Forest 2. And that completes today's results in the RB Farker League. And now Leslie Crowther invites us in his usual in inimitable way to come on down because the price is right. It's Saturday night! A long tight! And come on down! The price is right! With Cindy Day, Denise Kelly... Elton O'Toole, Gillian de Turville, and Carol Greenwood. And here's Leslie Crabber! to the price is right we've got a right lot in the audience tonight i tell you <laughs> ladies and gentlemen our studio audience as you very well know come from far and wide and tonight they've come from fields as far apart or wherever they live as plymouth and glasgow <laughs> and many places in between which we haven't got time to mention but we'll no doubt find about later ladies and gentlemen first of all as you very well know we welcome our contestants our first four tenants of contestant row and give them a real g up Let's do that for Lynn! And Leroy! And Carmen! And Ian! Wonderful. Oh, it's all so subtle. Now then, we want your opinions, please, as to the price of this. A Cheval Mirror. A full-length Cheval mirror with an elegant arch top in solid brass. It also has two side knobs so you can adjust the angle of the mirror. There you are, one Cheval mirror. I want the price of that mirror. You get one bid each and whoever bids the nearest without going over wins the mirror and joins me to play time play. If you go over, you buck. But this can be yours if the price is right. So, Lynn, what is your bid on the mirror? 97. 90, 97. 97 pounds. Thank you, Lynn. Leroy, what do you think? 89. 89? Yeah. Thank you very much indeed. 89 pounds. Wonder what Carmen thinks. 98 pounds. 98 pounds. Oh, you crafty creature. 98 pounds is Carmen considered. What is Ian? 96. 96 pounds, says Ian. This is very interesting, you know. You are not getting beady at this game. Look at those bids. They're all so close. The actual price we're looking for is £99 carbon! Thank you. No, not there, is it? No, but you'll see you there. That's lovely to see you, Carmen. Now, where are you from? Stafford. Stafford. You close half the audience by yeah. the sound of it. You all right? Good girl. What do you do for a living? I'm a student. A student? What? Studying A level. Studying A level? Yeah. What an egghead. <laughs> That's wonderful. It's lovely to see you. We, you've won that delightful prize. We also want you to go home with these three items here an ice cream maker, a stereo radio cassette, and a rowing machine. 
you like the sound of rum and raisin or champagne sorbet, then this is for you. Made in Italy, the true home of ice cream, it can churn and freeze a pint of delicious ice cream in just nine minutes. A high-performance portable sound system for music lovers on the move. Featuring a multi-amplifier system, multi-speaker and twin cassette deck. And a sturdy and versatile rowing machine that can be used vertically or horizontally to tone up every muscle. With exercises ranging from the very gentle to the extremely tough. There you go. Three potential prizes. And we want you to win all three. We're going to play time play, and this is how we play it. We want you to tell us the price of those three items, one at a time, in 30 seconds. And this is how we do it. We start with the least expensive of the three items. Mm -hmm. All right, Colin? Yeah. Which is the ice cream maker. The clock starts with your first bid, and there is the clock. I can help you with two words, higher or lower. Your bid's too low, I'll say higher. Too high, I'll say lower. Eventually, and hopefully with it, you all right? You sure you're all right? Yeah. Good. <laughs> Eventually, and hopefully within the 30 seconds, we will arrive at the price of the ice cream maker. We'll plow straight on to assess the price of the stereo radio cassette. And after that, hopefully again within 30 seconds, we'll go on straight away to the rowing machine. All right? Now then, come here. This is crucial, this, I've been told. And we're all in shock, including the machine. Just simply the ice cream maker to start with. What is your first bid? Six pounds. Higher. Four pounds. Higher. Six pounds. Higher. Eight pounds. Lower. Six pounds. Higher. Seven pounds. Higher. Seven five. Higher. Seven seven. Higher. Seven nine. Yes! Now the stereo radio for set. Hundred pounds. Higher. Hundred and fifty. Lower. Hundred and twenty five. Higher. Hundred and thirty. Lower. Hundred and twenty seven. Higher. Hundred and twenty eight. Higher. Seventy nine. Yes! Now the rain machine. One hundred. Uh, Two hundred. Lower. Two. One fifty. Higher. One seventy five. Lower. One seventy. Lower. One sixty. Lower. One. One fifty five. Yes! You've done it. That's wonderful. Oh. And with only two seconds to go, you walked it. You walked it, man. I think absolutely great. May we just see, please, if those prices are correct. Yes, £79 pounds for the ice cream maker. Yes, thank you, Jilly. Thank you, Cindy. We'll see you later in Soko Showdown, all right? Come in, ladies and gentlemen. A wonderful, wonderful woman. Thank you very much indeed, Carol. Another wonderful woman. And uh, one empty space in contestant row, which is now about to be filled rapidly by Andrea Green. <laughs> Hello. You are very, very welcome. You nearly fell into contestant row, never mind anything else. We want your opinions as to the price of these items here. A pair of Chinese lamps. Lend your home the splendor of Imperial China with these two majestic lamps. In a classic oriental design, they come with matching orange shades. Andrea, what is your bid? 120. 120 pounds, says Andrea. Ian thinks it might be 115. 115 pounds is Ian's opinion. He's not too sure, but he, that's what he really thinks. Lynn, what do you think? 100. 100 dead. 100 pounds, says Lynn. Leroy, what do you think? 110. 110 pounds, says Leroy. The price we're looking for is 116 pounds. Ian! <laughs> One of the ones from Slough, that's great. What do you think of you? Here we go. And what do you do for a living? Uh, I'm a postman. You're a postman? Postman Ian, not Pat Ian. Well, Postman Ian, we would very much like you to win when we play Secret X, this. A dishwasher! No more mornings after the night before with this fabulous kitchen friend. A 12-setting dishwasher with eight programs, including rinse and hold. And to go with it, this delightful 20-piece breakfast service in a classic blue Denmark design. <laughs> One dishwasher. All that lovely cutlery. 
crockery, I beg his pardon, inside. Can all be yours if you play this game correctly. It's called Secret X, Ian, because in one of those red squares there, there is an X hidden. And believe me when I tell you that I have no idea in which X or in which square it is secreted. I've no idea, but it's in one of them. Now, to win the game, and of course the dishwasher and the crockery, you must get three X's in a row, either across there, there, or there, or diagonally, Ian, there, or there. Now, because you've won a one-bid game, you've automatically won the right to one X. And we are going to give you up to three chances to win up to two more Xs. First of all, Ian, put that one where you think it's going to do you the most good. Right. That's what Slough thinks, is it? Yeah, that's what Slough thinks, and Slough hasn't done too badly, actually because, of course, you give yourself immediately two options, either across there or diagonally down there. Now then, listen very carefully to the description of this item. Keep your herbs and spices all together with an easy reach in this smart black spice rack. It comes complete with 16 spice plants with removable shaker caps and self-adhesive labels. One spice rack with two prices. One of them is correct. If you Select the correct one, you win the spice rack, and one more X. 17 or 27? 17. 17 pounds! Elsa, tell us, is 17 pounds correct? It is! One more X, and you won yourself a spice rack. Now listen to the description of this item. What could be nicer after a good dinner than to lean back in your chair with a glass of brandy? And to help you do just that, here's a silver-plated brandy warmer and a generous glass. There you are. One brandy warmer with the glass, 15 or 25? 25. 25! Tell us, Elsa, is it 25? It is! We don't need to bother with the goblets because you've won your two more X's, you've won yourself a spice rack, you've won yourself a brandy warmer and the glass. Now put those two X's where you think you can link up to make three in a row. Now then, Ian, in order for you to win, the X has got to be either there or there. If it's there, I'm afraid you've lost. Yes! <laughs> That's lovely. Well, you've won yourself three prizes with that little exercise. It's very good, isn't it? Lovely. You please? Oh, yeah, good luck. Off you go, Ian. Have a chat with Elsa. We'll see you later in Showcase Showdown. Thank you, Carol. Oh, he's knocked out his. And Wayne Kirby! Oh, you are our next contestant on the Price is Right. Hello, Wayne. Hiya. Welcome to Contestants Row. <laughs> we want all your opinions, please, as to the price of this delightful item here. A candelabra. Fire and water unite in this elegant German candelabra. Float the candles in the glass, light the wicks, and you have a dramatic focal point for your table. That really does look most attractive. One candelabra. Wayne, what do you think? 59 pounds. 59 pounds. 59 pounds, says Wayne. Lynn, how about you? What do you think? 83. 83 pounds, says Lynn. Leroy thinks it might be... 78. 78 pounds <laughs> is Leroy's opinion. Andrea, what do you think? 65. 65. 65 pounds, thinks Andrea. Well, you were so close, Lynn, but the correct price that we're looking for is 82 pounds. Leroy! <laughs> Reading. Reading! In Barker. What do you do for a living, Leroy? Metal worker. You're a metal worker. Oh, well, we, we could do with you around here sometimes. <laughs> Leroy, have a look at these four items that you can win. A coffee maker, an electric can opener, a pretty mirror, and a pair of binoculars. This elegant chrome and glass jug is a coffee pot and coffee maker all in one. 
No more cut thumbs or jagged edges with this smart electric can opener with bottle and bag opener and easy clean operation. In a delightful oval shape, this mirror is framed by delicate pink and green china flowers. And these binoculars with gold fluoride coated optics and precision focusing come complete with case, strap and lens cover. And you can also win, Leroy, this. A MIDI Hi-Fi System. This compact Hi-Fi system contains everything the demanding listener needs. An amplifier with graphic equalizer and 25 watts per channel. Cassette deck, three-band stereo, radio and turntable. Uncle Puccini, it'll sound great on equipment like this. They offer five prizes that you can win. We're going to play switcheroo. There is a list of the prizes, Leroy. Binoculars, mirror, electric can opener, coffee machine, and MIDI hi-fi. There are their corresponding prices with one number missing from each. There are the missing numbers, Leroy. We want you to put them back where you think they ought to go. You have up to 30 seconds to do it, and those you get right, you keep. Off you go, sir. <coughs> for nothing, Leroy. It's called switcheroo because we give you a chance to switch round. Now, you've got to do a lot of switching round, mate, because there is a large naught there. You have 30 seconds to change your mind in whichever direction you wish to go, starting now. <laughs> Is that it? Hang on. You've done it again. God blimey. <laughs> Lovely. How many has Leroy got right now? Oh. <laughs> of the three that you have assessed correctly, Leroy, I'm sure you'd like that to be one of them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, definitely. Oh, yeah. Right. So you don't want two of these to be right down here. Binoculars, tell us about that, Denise. So, you haven't got that. Now then, the mirror. That means that the next three must be correct. Yes! 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 <laughs> That's wonderful. Go over and have a chat with Denise and we'll see you a little later on. Ladies and gentlemen, we now know who the first three finalists will be in Showcase Showdown. We don't know who the next three are going to be, but we're going to find out, aren't we, when you join us. See you. The Remington Microscreen shaves as close as a blade and closer than your current electric shaver, or I'll give you your money back. That's an impressive guarantee. Uh, your Kraft Originals, huh? Well, there it is. Might I inquire, sir, what is in these cases? Local off-license for selling off this bargain pale cream number. You mean you purchased this? Frightfully cheap, mind you. <laughs> when one tasted it, one could see why. Not a patch on the real thing. So I thought they'd make decent presents for the tradesman. Unwise, sir. A gentleman's reputation rests not only on the sherry that he drinks, but on the refinement of the sherry that he gives. So you think a case of that might not go down too well? It would be as welcome, sir, I think, as a case of months. Craft Original Pale Cream Sherry. One instinctively knows when something is right. Please help me and I'll sing along with Grandpappy. <laughs> Stay 
Jacob's Club. All that real thick chocolate makes it well worth picking. Just in from Barrett, and it's more good news for house buyers. Pay no mortgage for six months on Barrett established properties in a huge range of styles and wide choice of locations. See Property Press for details. for busy cooks. A trolley in fashionable black and chrome with adjustable height, integral breadboard and a fitted vegetable basket on the lower shelf. There you are, ladies and gentlemen. One kitchen trolley with board and basket. Christopher, what is your bid? 55. 55, says Christopher. Andrea, what do you think? 45. 45, says Andrea. Wayne. 65. 65. 65, says Wayne. Right, Lynn. 40 pounds. 40 pounds, says Lynn. The price we're looking for is 77 pounds, Wayne! <laughs> Halifax in Yorkshire. What do you do for a living, Wayne? I'm a cocktail barman and a waiter. A cocktail barman and a waiter? Yeah. Oh. Right, Wayne, we're going to give you ten chances to win these three items. A fondue set, a water tantalus, and a writing bureau. <laughs> for the ultimate in togetherness, try a fondue for supper. This super set in heavy quality white cast iron comes with a set of four forks so the whole family can join in the fun. A fine brass coated water tantalus on its own carved stand together with a graceful decanter and four matching glasses. And this compact little bureau in new wood has a drop lid with embossed leather insert, a two door cupboard and lots of pigeonholes to help you organize your paperwork and stationery. There we are Wayne. One pen. We're going to start with the fondue set, which is priced at two figures. It's valued at two figures. Choosing two of those three numbers there, write me down there what you think is the price of the fondue set. Three, two, thirty-two. Right or wrong? Wrong. May we move along, please? You now have nine chances, and it's still the fondue set. Three, five, thirty-five. Right or wrong? Wrong. May we move along, please? You now have eight chances left, and you're still on the fondue set. That's a five. Right. Two, five, twenty-five. Right or wrong? Wrong. Move along, please. Two, 
2-3-23. Right or wrong? Wrong. Move along, please. May we move along, please? Right or wrong? Right. Now then, you have the water tantalus and the U Bureau, and you've left yourself five chances. That's all. It's not a lot, is it, really? No. Water tantalus, again priced at, thank you very much for these, two figures. Choose two out of those three. Nine eighty-nine. Right or wrong? Wrong. May we move along, please? Take your time, boy. Seven eight seventy-eight. Right or wrong? Wrong. Move along. Three chances left, and still two items to win. Seven nine. 79, right or wrong? Right. Now, Wayne, you have two chances to assess the price of the U Bureau. Oh, you can if you want to, yes. But not till the end of the series. U Bureau, thank you very much, Denise, price at three figures. Now you've got to write down three figures from that lot there and hopefully win the U Bureau. Take your time. Shake a cocktail now, right. One empty space in the row now to be filled by Marshall Bedford. Come on down. You are the next contestant. All right, right. Hello, sir. Very good to see you. Where are you from, Marshall? Glasgow. Glasgow. Great to see you. Wonderful. We want all your bids on that. A pine washstand. This pretty Victorian style pine washstand will enhance any corner of your bathroom. Books, flowers and ornaments will look lovely against its delicate green floral tile. There we go. One pine washstand. I want the price of that. And Marshall, it's your first bid. 130. 130. Yes. 130. Says Marshall from Glasgow. Lynn, what do you think? 129. 129, says Lynn. Christopher. Uh, what, 131. 101. 131. 131. Thank you, Christopher. Andrea, what do you think? 99. 99 pounds, says Andrea. 100. Wonderful noise, because that means that somebody has hit the nail on the head and bid the exact price that is on this card. To that person, we give 100 pounds. The price we're looking for is 99 pounds, Andrea. Jumping up and down like a thing possessed. There you are, Andrea. There's our debt duly acknowledged. There's a hundred pounds in there. You've got that already. You've won that. You've won the washstand. Where are you from? 
Stafford, it's called. What do you do for a living? Thanks for the coach company. You work for a coach company? Oh, is that the same company that brought you here yes. tonight? Oh, that's lovely. Very good. Listen very closely to these descriptions of these six items. A stereo radio and a crystal bell. A lace maker's lamp and a steam iron. A phone box teapot and an onyx clock. Now then, Andrea, we are going to play give or keep. Six items, we're going to show them and describe them to you, two at a time. In each case, and with each pair, we want you to give one away and keep one. Always keeping what you think is the most expensive of the items for yourself. We do that with all three pairs, with all six items. We then top up the value of the items you've given away. We then top up the value of the items you've kept. And if the total value of the items you have kept is higher than the total value of the items you've given away, we will give you all six items, Andrea, and... This. A fabulous Moroccan four-day winter holiday in Sunset, Marrakesh. You and a companion will be staying in a luxury hotel surrounded by tropical gardens, from which you can get to know this fascinating country. Morocco is full of exotic sights and sounds, from flat roof buildings to colorful bazaars where you can pick up beautiful treasures to take home. And if you get tired of that, go for a swim in the hotel pool. And there's an exciting nightlife too, both international and with a definite Moroccan flavor. Relax and enjoy yourself on your four-day sunshine break to Marrakesh. There you go. Some holiday there for you. Certainly is. You've got to get this game right. First of all, listen very carefully, Andrea, to the description of the stereo radio and the glass bell. This stereo radio runs off mains or battery, has two-way bands and comes with its own carrying handle. This pretty bell of fine Edinburgh lead crystal will summon the butler or wake Dad from his snooze. Now then, which is the least expensive of those two items? The radio. The least expensive, not the most expensive, the, radio. the cheapest. The radio. Right? Well, you think the stereo radio is the cheapest, so it goes. You've given that away at 18 pounds. Now listen to the description of the lace maker's lamp and the iron. This traditional lace maker's lamp comes complete with a brass reflector shade and is fully electric. This high-tech iron of the future has a removable sole plate for easy cleaning, adjustable cord position and a built-in water jug and indicator. Now then, Andrea, which is the least expensive? Which do you want to give away? The least expensive of the both. Iron. The iron. The iron is going because Andrea says so. The iron is going at 25 pounds. There you are, 43 pounds already up there. Now the final pair, the phone box teapot and the onyx clock. The old red phone box is rapidly becoming a collector's piece. So here's a way of preserving your memories and enjoying a delicious cup of tea at the same time. In a classic design, this electronic clock is set into chiseled onyx with pink and green marbling. Now, which of those two items do you want to give away as being the least expensive? The teapot. The teapot is going. At 31 pounds. 74 pounds. That column has got to add up to a higher total. And if it does, you're away to Marrakesh. Glass bell, 20. That's two in your favour. Lace maker's lamp, 30. It all depends on the Onyx clock. Yeah! We're just as thrilled as you are. We love it when people win, you know. We really do. Go over and have a chat with Cindy. That's wonderful. Oh, she's so thrilled, that girl. Isn't it lovely? Oh, yes. Great. And the empty space now to be filled by Janet Feasy. Very nice to see you. It's lovely to see all of you, and I'm sure you will think it is very pleasant to gaze on this delightful item here. A glass punch bowl set. Drink a loving cup from this exquisite German lead crystal punch bowl engraved with a pattern of fruit and leaves. It has a crystal lid, a punch ladle, and 12 engraved loving cups. That's lovely, that. 
I think that's great. Now then, Janet, newest tenant to the row, yours is the first bid. What might it be? 120. 120 pounds, says Janet. Marshall, dear sir, what do you... 115. 115? Yes. 115, says Marshall. Thank you very much indeed. Lynn, what do you think? 125. 125 pounds, says Lynn. Christopher, on the other hand, thinks it might be... 127. 127 pounds, says Christopher. The price we're looking for is 149 pounds. Christopher! <laughs> That's marvellous, that punch bowl and all those glasses, isn't it? Well, it's yours. Where are you from, Christopher? Uh, Norwich. Norwich? Yeah. Well, you might say that that punch bowl is truly beautiful. It's totally, it's totally it's lovely. Good. What do you do for a living, Christopher? I'm a hairdresser. You're a hairdresser? Yeah, a gent hairdresser. Absolutely right. Well, we want you, Christopher the Barber, to go home with this item here. A combined television and hi-fi system. Get the best of both worlds with this combined hi-fi and color television. There's a 16-inch TV, a three-band radio, cassette deck, and turntable with an output of 20 watts per channel. Plus a hyper sound button for top quality sounds. It all comes in a smart walnut cabinet. <laughs> One delightful prize there. We're going to play Lucky Seven. I must tell you that that prize is priced at three figures. And within that three-figure sum, Christopher, no number is repeated. I am going to give you, as we play Lucky Seven, seven one-pound tokens and ask you for the first figure in the three-figure price. If you're right, if you're right, Christopher, you keep all seven of those tokens. If you're wrong, for each number you're away from the correct number, I take one token back. We do that with all three numbers in the three-figure prize. If at the end of the game you've got any tokens left, I will sell you that prize for one token. Okay? Now, the first figure in the three-figure prize. Four. Four, we think. Three. I'll have one of those. Thank you very much indeed. Now then, take your time. The second figure, come over here, that's a bit better, we're all in the light then, the second figure in the three figure prize. Uh, six. 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 Nine. So I'll have another three. That's one, two, three. You have three left. Three. You have three left. from five leaves two. I'm so sorry. I really am sorry, Christopher. However, you've won yourself that nice punch bowl. We'll see you later in Showcase Showdown. All is not lost. Go over and have a chat with Elsa. Ladies and gentlemen, Christopher. Yes, indeed. We now know who the six finalists are going to be in Showcase Showdown, but which will the two be to go forward to Showcase Final? Nobody knows yet, but we'll all find out when you join us. Scotties. If you want to apply for British Cash shares, there's not long to go. Applications must be in by 10 a.m. on Wednesday, December the 3rd. Are you Sid? Yes. Oh boy, have I got a message for you. Sid? Sid? Sid! 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 Sid!
certainly isn't a dull boy. He knows Good Valley when he sees it. And he knows he'll be on to a winner when he takes home the big Andrex roll. Because as well as being soft, it's thick, wide, and incredibly long. Which means it lasts and lasts. So, in the long run, he's likely to make a giant saving. Andrex, the legendary toilet tissue. Capture Christmas with the Minolta Compact Camera, Elena May Price, $89.95. The Pentax P30 with 35 to 70 millimeter zoom lens, Elena May Price, $189.95. Elena May. Sid? Sid? Oh, flippy neck. Where are you? You only have four days left to get your application in for British cash shares. 20% off fitted kitchen units, 25% off Neff built-in appliances, plus free kitchen hamper with every fitted kitchen. Rose Lodge Kitchens, Aberdeen, Dundee and Edinburgh. In tonight's showcase showdown, a common hall from Stafford. Ian Harvey from Slough in Barcher. Leroy Harry from Reading. Wayne Kirby from Halifax. And Bear Green from Stafford. Christopher Barker from Norwich. <laughs> Hi, welcome back. Before we go any further, Andrea of our six finalists in Showcase Showdown, the total value of prizes you have won so far is the greatest. It is a staggering £862. Now, those prizes, my lovely, are yours, and nobody's going to take them away from you. But we are going to match the amount of money that they represent and give it to this week's nominated charity, which is an association in Dorset that helps disabled people in the areas of mobility and housing and also, thank you, provides a talking magazine on tape for people who are housebound. So there's two things. Tonight's showcase showdown elimination game is called Average Expenditure and is played like this. And it is based, incidentally, on official government figures. I am going to ask you up to four questions based on how much the average household spends on a given item over a specified period of time. In each case, or in each round, the contestant whose answer is furthest away from the correct answer sits down and is eliminated in the event of tied losing answers, both contestants are eliminated, and in the event of this happening when there are only three of you left, then we play a tiebreaker. At all events, the two contestants left standing at the end of the game go forward to our showcase final. Now, the categories tonight in this particular game, average expenditure, are gas bill, <laughs> books, newspapers and magazines, animals and pets, and cinemas. And when I refer to the average household, that is based again on official government figures, the average household is 2.6 people. How that happens, I can't imagine. 0.6 of a person, but they are. 2.6 people, men, women, and children. This is the first question based on the gas bill. How much does the average household spend on its quarterly gas bill? Your answer in pounds and pence, please. Five seconds to write down your answer, starting now. <laughs> Tell me and show me your answer. 60 pounds. 60 pounds. Uh, thank you very much indeed. Thank you, Carmen. Ian, what do you think? 52 pounds 50. Thank you. 52 pounds 50, says Ian. Leroy. 67 pounds 50. 67 pounds 50, says Leroy. Thank you, Leroy. Wayne. 65. 65 pounds, says Wayne. Andrea. 55 pounds. Thank you very much. 55 pounds, says Andrea. Christopher. 71 pounds 30, says Christopher. The average household on its quarterly gas bill spends 47 pounds 84 pence. And Christopher knows already, and bless his heart, he's sitting down with a smile on his face. The next question is based on books, newspapers, and magazines. And this is it. How much does the average household spend per year on books, newspapers, and magazines. Your answer to the nearest pound, please. Pounds only. 
pounds only, how much does the average household spend per year on books, newspapers and magazines? Five seconds to write down your answer, starting now. Five seconds is not a long time, Carmen. Carmen, uh, tell me and show me. 70 pounds. 70 pounds. Thank you very much indeed. 70 pounds, says Carmen. Ian? 56 pounds. 56 pounds is Ian's opinion. Thank you. What do you think, Leroy? 50. 50 pounds is Leroy's venture. Wayne? 70. 70 pounds, says Wayne. Andrea says? 85 pounds. Eight. Thank you very much. 85 pounds, says Andrea. The average household per year on books, newspapers and magazines spends... One hundred and thirty-five pounds, Leroy. Unfortunately, you've been put down. Still, you've got some good things to go away with. Four contestants left, and here is the next question: Animals and pets. How much does the average household spend per week on animals and pets? Your answer in pounds and pence, please. Animals and pets. How much per week? Five seconds to write down your answer starting now. Per week, Carmen. Five seconds. Per week. Right, Carmen. What do you think? £3.70. £3.70 says Carmen. £4.50. Thank you, Ian. £4.50 is Ian's opinion. £5.50. £5.50 says Wayne. And Andrea says... £6.50 is Andrea's opinion. It's amazing, this. The average household per week on animals and pets spends £1.22. Andrea, she knows already. However, she's done very well. She's done very well. Three contestants left. Who will be in our showcase final? Who will they be? Now then, this question will sort you out. Cinema admission. How much does the average household spend per year on cinema admission? Your answer in pounds and pence, please. Per year, average household on cinema admissions. Five seconds to write down your answer, starting now. Per year. Hurry up, Carmen. Five seconds is not a long time. Right then, Carmen, tell me and show me your answer. Sixty-seven pounds. Sixty-seven pounds, says Carmen. Sixty-eight pounds. Sixty-eight pounds, says Ian. Thank you. Wayne says... Seventy-five pounds. Seventy-five pounds. Thank you. Well, th this is quite amazing. Quite amazing. The average household per year on cinema admission spends, in pounds and pence, four pounds, sixty-eight pence. Wayne, I fear you must sit down. Ian! Ian, our two finalists to showcase final, as you've got this far, we'd like to know a little more about you. Carmen, we know that you're a student studying for your A-level in Stafford. Yes. What's the name of the school? Walton High School. Walton High School. <laughs> and the rest of the class behind you. Yeah. Good. Well, what are you actually taking in A-level? Maths, French and English. Good heavens, said he. A very erudite young lady. Ian, postman from Slough. Thank okay. you. No, don't be afraid. We need you. We need you. Except when you get those letters with the little windows in that, you know, or OHMS. We don't want those. Ian, are you married? Yes, I am. Any children? Uh, four. Four? <laughs> so you don't do any sorting out on the night duty then, do you? <laughs> or rather, you do, yes. Yeah. Uh, what age and what sex are they? Uh, well, for my previous marriage, I've got a... My daughter's 21, my son's 15. And from this marriage, I've got a stepdaughter of nine coming up to and a son of two. Wonderful. Well done. Well done. Very good. Glue to this, hoping, of course, that you win, and you hope that you win. Well, as you were the first contestant to join me from contestants row of our two finalists, yours is the choice, Carmen, of either bidding on the first showcase or passing the honour to Ian and bidding on the second showcase. 
None of this can you decide, Carmen, until you have seen the first showcase. And your showcase tonight is two pairs of tickets to smash hit plays or musicals. Yes, we'll bring you and the companion to London, the theatre capital of the world, where you'll have three days to enjoy this exciting city. And you can choose from any one of the theatres in London's fabulous West End to see the play or musical of your choice. Chess, Phantom of the Opera, 42nd Street, just take your pick. And you'll be spending three nights here at the London Waldorf Hotel, famous for its calm court and elegant tea dances. All yours to enjoy on your wonderful London Theatre Weekend. And for that next pair of theatre tickets, it's all aboard the luxury QE2. That fabulous floating palace to take you and your companion to the Big Apple, yes, New York and Broadway. Once again, you'll we'll have the choice of dozens of musicals and plays. They're all here on the Great White Way, New York's dazzling theatre land. You'll be spending three nights at a first-class Manhattan hotel, an ideal base from which to explore this vibrant 24-hour city. New York and London. So much to offer you won't have a moment to spare on these fabulous two Price is Right Theatre Weekends. What are you going to do, Carmen? Are you going to bid on that showcase or pass the honours to Ian? You're going to bid. In that case, my dear, what is your bid without going over on what has now become your showcase? £1,400. £1,400, says Carmen. Thank you very much indeed. Ian, we can now show you your showcase. And your showcase tonight is a fresh new look for the busiest room in your house, the kitchen. First, there's a handsome Welsh dresser in solid pine with three specially beaded shelves to keep all your favourite cups and dishes on display. To match the dresser, a sturdy Victorian-style kitchen table and four traditional spindle-back chairs in solid beach to give your kitchen a fresh country look. And to complete the farmhouse kitchen style, here's a fresh bright breakfast set too. But to make sure the chores aren't Victorian, we've also included in your showcase five fabulous kitchen appliances. A hard-working dishwasher with five programs and special sound installation and a washing machine and tumble dryer both fully automatic so you can let your new home laundry get on with the washing whatever the weather. An upright freezer with extra large fast freezing compartment as well as economy switch to keep fuel prices down and that's matched by a five foot six cubic foot fridge with built-in drinks chiller and automatic defrost. All five machines come in the same elegant arm and color. A Price is Right showcase to make life easier for you if the price is right. Now then, Ian, what is your bid without going over on your showcase? One thousand six hundred and fifty. Pardon? One thousand six hundred and fifty. One thousand six hundred and fifty pounds. Thank you very much indeed, Ian. Carmen, you bid one thousand four hundred pounds on your showcase. The actual price of your showcase is two thousand three hundred and thirty pounds. A difference of nine hundred and thirty pounds. Now, Ian, if you haven't gone over, your difference has to be less for your sake than 930 pounds. You bid 1,650 pounds on your showcase. The actual price of your showcase is 1,840 pounds. A difference of 1,900 pounds. Oh, bless you, well done. Well done. My dear. Commiserations. <laughs> you haven't gone too badly. You haven't gone too badly. There we are. Oh, lovely. Wonderful, that's the wife. They appear like magic. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. How lovely. Well, there we are. Carmen, my dear, you didn't win your showcase, but you're taking away a Cheval mirror, an ice cream maker, stereo cassette, 
and a rowing machine. Oh, yeah. so you've done very well. Have you enjoyed it? You've got four lovely items to take away with you, and it's good luck with your A-levels from all of us. Ian, you on there? Come here. And Pamela. Is it Pamela? Yeah. How are you? You have one, Ian. A pair of Chinese lamps, a spice rack, a brandy warmer, a dishwasher, and the breakfast china, and a complete modern kitchen featuring a pine Welsh dresser, a pine table, four beach chairs, an upright freezer, a tumble dryer, another dishwasher, a washing machine, and a larder fridge. It's all yours, sir. Congratulations. And we will see you once again next week when once again I will be able to say, come on down, the price is right. Now, here are today's Shinty results. In the Weatherseal Double Glazing League Division 1, the match between Kinloch Shiel and Bewley was postponed. Lovett 3, Fort William 0, Newtonmore 1, Glenurchard 2, and the match between Skye and King Uthi was also postponed. In the Weatherseal Double Glazing League Division 2, Loch Harbour 8, Boleskine 1, Caron versus Cabafay, the match between them was also postponed, Strathglass 2, Glengarry 1. And finally, in the Macaulay Cup second round replay, King UC 6, Bewley 1. And those are today's Shinty results. Please, something we can all sing along with, Grandpappy. <laughs> Club. All that real thick chocolate makes it well worth picking. Papa? What's it, John? How do you do? Enchanté. Évidemment, car c'est pas normal. Mais après, c'est tout de même dommage que ce soit un anglais. Enfin, ma c'est pour ça qu'on t'a envoyé faire tes études en Angleterre, non? Je l'aime. Oh, qu'est-ce que veut dire que tu n'as pas à prendre tout ça Tu sais qu'elle avait d'autres vues sur toi, d'autres idées Euh, euh, pour vous, sir. Oh, le piador Oh, quelle bonne idée, mon garçon Venez, je vais vous présenter à ma femme. Je savais que vous allez persuader. Très bien. Les Français adorent le piador. Next café, anyone Ah, musique à mes ears. Is the maestro with us? Let's see. Nescafe? Eh? You know, Nescafe. With that special blend and roast. That richer, smoother taste. A Tchaikovsky's first? No, second. Mm. Nescafe always comes first. Nescafe. Coffee at its best. <laughs> Impaler here. You know, after a hard day impaling people, 
There's nothing I like better than to curl up in front of the telly and watch Who Dares Wins on Channel 4. It's most enjoyable, it's funny, it's sharp and to the point. <laughs> A bit like impaling, really. Don't miss it. Who Dares Wins, funny, sharp and... <laughs> to the point. You're watching Grampian Television. The time now is fast approaching 10 to 9 as we join newscaster Anne Lucas for the latest news bulletin from ITN. Teachers say yes to pay deal but only just. The spy case, Sir Robert's role makes him damaged goods, says Steele. Kinnock's mission, to deliver the non-nuclear message to America. And England's new hero, first test century for Richard. Good evening. The biggest teachers' union has shown it's seriously split on the provisional pay deal agreed last week with the local authorities.